Welcome to Serenity Ledger's video for this 1999 uh, Swift Contiki uh, recently arrived with us, in fact very recently, uh, in part exchange. Uh, the video is being made alongside the photographs and editorial no doubt you've already seen and uh, anybody, especially those travelling from a long distance, gives them the opportunity to get a very close-up feel of the camper itself. Um, now this is much older than we would normally retail but it is just such a nice example with such low mileage uh, that's why we sort of decided to go on with it. Um, so it came straight off the previous keepers uh, who'd had it for a number of years. So any defects at all to the outside, there's some markings on the bonnet here. As you can see, just some of the paint that's flaked off, which is very common. That's the, uh, the, the, the beige you can see underneath is the um, primer originally from new, but it doesn't warrant doing it, uh, uh, painting the bonnet. And there's a small scrape down the side here, okay? but that's very minor. Uh, the rest of it for the year is very, very good. Now this has GRP size, so they don't tend to mark if anything falls against them. Uh, awning poles, etc., won't damage the side of the camper. So that side is excellent. You've got a rear ladder. You've got reversing cameras or camera rather up there. Uh, it has very good sized solar panels, rear steadies, provision for the bike rack. That's what those brackets are for. If you wanted to put a bright rack on it, it's literally ready to go. Um, that's like a little sort of storage door here on the side, which is locked. And then again, condition wise on this side, it's excellent. Uh, the Fiamma awning I'm told was replaced a couple of years ago with a new one. And that is an additional security handle. That's the Fiamma door handle, which folds over the door. Or you just use it as a, um, um, it's locked. Yeah, you just use it as a, uh, as a help up when you, when, when you get into the camper itself. Right, internals. So, 2.8 turbo diesel, 127 brake horsepower. It has electric windows, it has power steering, it has, um, um, uh, what is it, a five-speed gearbox, uh, radio CD unit on the front. Uh, again, these seats are very good. You can see that for the year. They're in excellent condition. Uh, that uh, driver's side one does swivel around as well, incidentally. Um, and then you've got this lounge. The, then you've got the lounge. Uh, Forward-facing seats, so they can be belted. This turns into a big double bed, if so desired and a long sofa along, uh, on this side. Again, both of the uh, internal seats are in really nice condition. This has definitely been a well cared for and loved motorhome to say the least. Uh, the bed above the cab, half of this folds away so that you can uh, uh, utilize the headroom when you're not using it. Um, uh, this, this bit just, just goes up and out of the way, that's all. Uh, but you can use that for storage if nobody else is sleeping on there, of course. Um, it's got a 12 volt television that comes with it. It's got additional speakers in the back, which will be wired up to the stereo in the front. So that's quite nice. Um, and then a good size galley. Again, you can see lots of photographs of this. The condition of it is very, very good. And this is literally how it's come into us. All the worktops are nice, no indentations. Water level tank indicators, battery level indicators are up there, along with additional uh, two additional sockets for the mains electric. Uh, good size stoves, oven, Electrolux fridge freezer. If I can get that open, there we go. That's again all nice regarding condition. There's your charger unit, mains charging unit up the top there put a microwave in there if you wanted to and then a uh, this really really good bathroom really nice condition that sink is not showing any signs of discoloration at all basically that's the same as all the plastics uh, Tetford C250 electric flush toilet separate shower again all the plastics in there they're not showing any signs of discoloration a very very good bathroom oh. 
camera's going a bit crazy. There we go. Okay, so internally it matches the outside. As I've said before, a very, very good example for this year of motorhome. And uh, I mean, it's got signs of wear, but very little. It's uh, obviously been loved. This does have incidentally um, uh, gas heating, electric mains heating and gas, sorry, electric mains hot water and uh, gas hot water as well. Uh, and it has a, um, a big solar panel on the top, which I think I already mentioned. And that's the, uh, the charge regulator there. Okay, that uh, completes Serenity Ledger's video for this uh, 1999 Swift Contiki.